Welcome back. In this lesson, I will show you how to import dump files which were used in the Windows environment into the Oracle Linux virtual box. In order to import dump files into the Oracle virtual box, you will have to open the Oracle virtual box manager. Make sure that your settings in the virtual box manager allow you to drag files between your Windows environment into the Oracle Linux environment, which is in the guest box. In this case, your host, which is Windows, and your guest, which is Linux. Then, drag and drop your files from your Windows environment onto the desktop in the Linux environment in the virtual box. Then, perform some database operations of importing those dump files into the database, which is pre-configured in the Oracle Linux virtual environment. Let's get started. Open the Oracle virtual machine by double clicking on the icon. Once the icon comes up, this is the Oracle virtual machine virtual box manager. Then go to settings and then go to the advanced tab under the general tab. Click on that. Shared clipboard. These are the options you have disabled, host to guest, guest to host, by directional. You want to choose bidirectional for drag and drop. Then click OK and then start the virtual box. This should take a few moments. Once the virtual box starts, an informational window will show you the IP address of the machine and the different scripts that are laid on the desktop. The first thing that you want to do, create a folder on the desktop and just call it dumps and then navigate to your host file and drag and drop these different sample schemas. The next thing that you can do to follow these steps Go to places, network servers. So under network servers, we are trying to access our host machine, which is the Windows environment in this case, then the work group. And there is my PC, which I named class PC. And you open that one, then you go to users. So these uh, on the previous page, these are the, all the different uh, drives that I have. This is a C drive. I have two additional external drives mounted. And then I want to go into the users which are in the C drive. Then I have a user called class which I'm using with this computer. And then I could have easily dropped all the dump files in the documents folder on my Windows PC. And from here I can easily grab them and drop them into this environment. So that's those are the two ways in which you can get those files in this environment. For now We'll go ahead now and show you how to import those dump files once they've been dropped into this environment into the Oracle uh, database. Next, log into the Oracle database and create the two users which we'll be using in this class as we've done in the Windows environment. So you open the terminal and you will type SQL plus system and the Oracle database connect string. We're typing the password which doesn't show and there we are connected to the Oracle database. The next thing that we want to do is uh, create a user which we used even in the Windows environment paint and we'll give paint the same password as we did in the Windows environment and the user has been created. One grant additional privileges to paint okay then want to grant paint additional privileges to allow them to import stuff in the database That takes care of it. Now to import 
the paint schema into the Oracle database, you will have to be logged in as a super user. So I will open the terminal again and I'll type SU, which is for super user. And the password for super user, you will notice that the little icon shows that I'm logged into the main terminal with administrative privileges at this point. Then you will just have to execute three, three scripts and that should take care of importing the files into into the oracle database the first script that you import is cp forward slash media underscore sf underscore obie v305 and forward slash paint the dmp so this will create a temporary path to where the um the dump file is and then we'll just change the mode and pick up the dump file and then finally we'll execute this part two get the files into into uh, the database so let's go ahead and I just did a control V to copy that file and I'm going to paste it on this terminal then press that then you go to the next file you can take note of this just type it out somewhere then you go press that then finally you will just type in this command and this should take care of us importing the files and this is the same step that or similar step that we we did in the windows environment it's just that you don't have to perform the first two steps in the windows environment and that takes care of uh, importing uh dump file or sample tables into the Oracle database 11G. Thank you for watching and I look forward to showing you the next steps in this uh, lesson.